What is up, everybody? NC. JC and. We got an exclusive piece here, and this is called Wrestler Exposes the Business to 4chan. Now, myself personally, I know jack shit about 4chan. Same here. My bro knows jack shit about 4chan. If it weren't for our cool fans out there showing us what's going on out there on the 4chan webs, we wouldn't know about all this crazy shit. Nah. So, homeboy showed me this link. I took a look at it, and at first I was very speculative. But as it went along, I started thinking to myself, you know, there's a couple things in here that might be true. Some shit is already lined up with speculations that we've made in the past. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to comb through the three pages here, take a look at the questions that he answered, and see if maybe there's some correlation there. So he calls himself Frogger, which probably tells me that he's an old fuck. <laughs> I'm going to have to guess if he likes Frogger, you know, because nobody else likes We're Frogger. A video game geek. Yeah, there's a lot of speculation about as to who this could be. Somebody asks that Big Swole can't wrestle, and he says, I mean, yeah, but you have to understand we privately mock and shit on most female wrestlers all the time. <laughs> I believe that. Yeah. He was asked, proof or get the fuck out, you LARPing faggot. <laughs> and he answers with, well, tell you what. I'll give you some info. When it comes out, you'll know everything I said here is for real. Don't know why I wasn't reported that Samoa Joe got released again. Pay attention to the date right here. The 6th. It is on Thursday. So then it's somebody who either knows Samoa Joe personally or works in NXT. Or knows a lot of people from the indies who knew Samoa Joe. A lot of the names right. that he drops are old school Ring of Honor names. Which would be... Because I would imagine Samoa Joe would be like, I just got released again. These fucking dicks. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It was also asked, come on, senpai, you need to try harder. Joey Ryan is on TV and he fucked most of the whores on the indie scene. You are probably Eskimo Brothers. LOL, that's because he was a promoter. Dude insisted on driving girls to their hotels and would always try to get them to go out for drinks. Drinks. Girls always fuck promoters. Shame because his wife was a real sweetheart. So it was also asked, makes a big deal about anonymity, won't name names, who cares? He replies with, wrestling is a very close knit, you'd be surprised. How easy it can be to follow a paper trail of sex to find someone's identity. If it makes you feel any better, one of them is in NXT and Tour Impact. Actually, didn't go all the way with the Canadian, but if that counts, then three in Impact. So, mm. you know, at least he got a little bit of pussy here and there. Yeah. Good for him. It was asked, spill the dirt on AEW, when is it going to fail? LOL, I could go on for hours about AEW, which is why he probably works there. Uh -huh. It's crazy how much fans don't know about it, considering how easy it is for rumors to spread nowadays. Either dirt sheet writers are keeping it close to the chest, or the locker room is really loyal. Yep. I think it's a little bit of both. Yep. Depends on your definition of fail. AEW will exist for as long as Tony's dad wants to bankroll it. The money is yeah. pocket change to him. Yeah. That being said, should Joey Janela really be getting paid six figures? Is that a wise use of his investment? Not if you ask me. I would agree. And he's probably next to be cut. Why are they asking about dicks so much? Come on, 4chan. It's it, a little gay. Well, and these are the same guys that are calling him a faggot left and right. And then they they go, dropped the fag term, yet they're asking about Ace Austin's hog size. Uh, scrolling through these comments was... It's gay! Literally, all they were talking about is, Oh, you should get black, you're a faggot. Or, or just, they're trying to be, like, edgy, or... It's like... It dude, was it's just gay. Really weak, edgy, It's like you talk gay shit. way too much about dick. Right. Way too, It's... You have dick on the brain constantly. It's weird. You probably want dick in your head. It's weird. <laughs> so he was asked... If you guys want health insurance so badly, why don't you quit being wrestlers and go get jobs where health insurance is a standard compensation? And he said, I don't need health insurance, but I guess it would be nice if I had kids. That being said, I don't know if people know this, but any injury or accident that occurs at work is covered by any major company worth its salt. Correct. True point. Do any of the boys still fuck with cocaine and somas, or is it just perks and dude weed LMO pens now? Good Coke question. is still huge. It's not just all video games and kumbaya like the vets would have you believe. It's real big in AEW in the indies. Tony <laughs> loves it. Dude is tweaked out at those after parties. No clue how that shit that happens at those pay-per-view after parties doesn't come out. I actually heard Vince still snorts the good stuff, just not at work. I know for a fact that GCW payouts are often just Coke or pot. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just a rumor. <laughs> Just a rumor. He was also asked, you're really going to trigger people with that AEW stuff, Anon, so do you guys see Tony Khan as a money mark to be taken advantage of? He said 
But to be fair, that's with all promoters. Yeah. Anyone with two brain cells should know that everyone on the roster, aside from a handful of top guys, is disposable to a promoter. Our job is to make as much money out of a run as we can so we can retire with our dicks still working. <laughs> Tony is very passionate about AEW, and for what I understand, working there a lot more enjoyable than working in WWE. Because yeah, there's no corporate structure. Exactly. He's a sucker for paying so many people to work on YouTube when they do it for free, but hey, more money for guys I like. Oh, he also wanted to add to that. I will add to this by saying that they're guys that are loyal to the promoter, but they almost always end up with an egg on their face for being marks. Look at Ciampa and Gargana. Remember NXT for life and what they got for being Triple H loyalists? Look at the ROH guys who sucked Hunter Delirious' dick for years, left with nothing. Yep. Mandy Leon, say no more. Mm-hmm. And here somebody says, touch grass, and he replies, with feel free to come back and ask me whatever you like when Joe's release is public knowledge. Keep in mind, on Thursday. Mm-hmm. Crazy. Specifically Samoa Joe? Right. Come on. And these all happened at once. Right. It was like the day of. I know. <laughs> it's like the day of Road Dog was announced to be fired. Seriously. So come on. This is an interesting one right here. Have you ever fucked Alexa Bliss? And if not, no. would you? He says, no. Yes. But she was hotter before she lost the weight. I hear Buddy still thinks he has a shot at getting back with her. What does that no, yes mean? I guess what that means is that oh, gotcha. he has yeah. not fucked Alexa Bliss, but he would like to. Understandable. Well, yeah, I mean, back when she, you know, had right. kind of lost that ass a little right. bit. Okay, so here he is asked, No clue how the shit that happens at those pay-per-view after parties doesn't come out. Why don't you elaborate then? Any relationships that form of the company start getting physical there. Jack and Anna Jay hooked up at once. Sammy and Tanera were already friends but just needed some extra liquid courage, if you know what I mean, to get physical. I heard Cardona Writer's Girl got very handsy with someone at one of them. The infamous Kylie Ray incident happened at the first one. So that's why she left. Oh. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. And he uh, dawns a little bit more on that as we go on. Thoughts on Big Sexy Kevin Nash? I like Diesel, but I gotta say he acts like a bit of a fag online. (laughs) True. What do you guys really think of these 35-year-old Twitter widows who are obsessed with wrestling? (laughs) Openly mock them all the time and then happily collect their money when they come to buy sign 8x10s. Exactly. How bad do you feel for the dudes stuck in the dark order? They can't be happy that Tony made them a perpetual Brody Lee cover band. Most of these guys are lucky to be collecting a paycheck, to be honest with you. A lot of the first-round AEW hires were just the Bucks rewarding loyalty. Real quick, this wrestler has a bit of an ego. Oh, yeah. This is not some underling. Right. It's somebody with a bit of an ego on them. I think somebody older. But would know Samoa Joe, though. Like a former Ring of Honor talent. But they would also have to be in NXT. So is also asked, spill it, how many you fuckers post here? Moreover, what was the insider opinion of shit like, woo? Were there dudes just bitching about threads, or was it like, dude, check out this funny shit, haha? I first saw this site when a guy in AEW showed me, Brandy reacting allegedly to a post here. The writer Cardona directly posted a screen cap on Twitter. I talked to a kid in AEW and he showed me how to do this. He said, young guys, and all three major companies are aware of the site. I heard of Slash Woo years ago from some Chikara guys. So obviously they know what's going on, unfortunately. And it, to, to be talking with Brandy, it's somebody within that inner circle. Or at least somebody who knows AEW. Within the upper echelon. Who was there from the get-go? I think we got it figured out who this I guy is. I think we got it figured out. We got it figured out. <laughs> I ain't going to say his name, though. That's me. I, I could say it, though, but then again, I'd also have to say, You're not! Yeah. You're right, Samojo got released. Well, yeah, it's like he... Yeah. He broke the news before Sean Ross Sapp. Well, yeah, because Samojo probably called him and was calling everybody. Probably for a job. Okay, so Thursday night, Samoa Joe officially got released. All right. Yeah. Okay. So how pilled up was Kenny before he left for his surgery and rehab? I can't tell you from firsthand experience, but I know he isn't a user of conventional self-medication. Never seen him drink or smoke. I assume he had to have done something to keep himself together. Dude is a machine. Okay. All right. Good for him. Nah, he's definitely a tough guy. He's just a fucking dork. And I've never gotten the impression that he's a drug addict. Nah, he's definitely straight edge. Yeah. His drugs are gay butt sex in video games. <laughs> as long as he has that, he's good. He was asked, I was asking in the last thread, do you know something about Triple H? Also, is it true that Charlotte Flair is a massive cunt or is it just a work? 
The Triple H shit is crazy. Heart attack was definitely stress-related compound by decades of steroid abuse. Mm -hmm. The Game of thrones s shit going down in WWE is insane. Apparently, there is yep. a legit internal power struggle, like vultures fighting amongst themselves as a buffalo slowly dies. Mm -hmm. No one knows who will take over when Vince dies. Okay. I know for a fact Hunter does not watch any of the new NXT. My guess is for fear of another medical episode. <laughs> no clue where Stephanie fits into all of this. Nope, that's a shoot. Charlotte is a head case. Vast majority of the women there hate working with her, and she has zero allies in the locker room. Yep, all the wrestlers talk. That's what all of them do. All of them know each other, too. What's the largest amount of wrestling figs you've been able to shove up your <laughs> asshole at once? <laughs> uh, one hillbilly gym figure. What the fuck? He keeps on showing who he is. <sighs> We were just joking about this shit, and it materializes. It happens. We willed it into existence unwillingly. It happened. One hillbilly chim fig. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> and don't forget the Kevin Oikens fig in there, oh, too. Jesus. Okay, so Frogger was asked about the Kylie Ray incident. So to that, he had to say the Kylie Ray thing was real, though. Heard it from two people who were there. Not sure why you're so defensive about it. Mm -hmm. Have you ever interacted with any Joshi wrestlers, and how was it? Does Riho or Sheeta smoke weed? Dude, I've tried to fuck so many, they are so cagey and standoffish. Yep. Unless they know you from your work in Japan or you build a relationship slow and steady, they won't bite. I only know two that smoke spot. Yeah, I just, I picture them as very, like, timid and, like, really Reserved. hard to talk to. Yeah. Exactly. Do any wrestlers give a shit about Meltzer's star ratings or consider them credible? LOL, the ones who get high ratings love him and the ones who don't think he's a hack. I'll let you do the math. Yeah. Me personally, I think his taste in modern wrestling sucks, but it's just an opinion. Wow. It's Daniel Bryan, a psychopath. <laughs> Someone asked, who is the most insufferable wrestler you've ever met? Leo Rush, Enzo, Quackenbush, Generico. Not a bad guy. Just a headache to call a match with. My buddy said Top Dalla is the worst he's ever seen. <laughs> oh, uh, I believe him. General opinion on Jim Cornette. Do people really believe that what he says is a work slash angle. Most smart workers know anything Jim slash Dave says is a grift designed to elicit responses from their fans and detractors alike to increase engagement and revenue. 99% of wrestlers are narcissists and will believe anything positive said about them is honest, though. Yep. So after smack head cannon has been 100% right for the last 10 years or he's lying... He replies with, dude, look at what's happening right now. All of Hunter's guys are being fired while he's out. Why do you think Pritchard got back and Johnny Ace promoted? Mm -hmm. The old guard saw Triple H losing to AEW and the perfect opportunity to convince Vince he's unfit to lead. Shit's mm -hmm. crazy. There's a small, small chance we see Triple H as a free agent for the first time in decades. Wow. Yeah, well, it's because Nick Khan's going to take over the company. Because right now, Nick Khan is the president of WWE. Yeah. He's the next in line. He's the next person that they can rely upon when Vince steps down and they sell. Very true. So he was asked, is Brian Danielson actually a no. psychopath? No. Maybe. He's a really cool dude. But occasionally, he'd slip into a discussion about how democracy is a folly because of a majority of people are uneducated and easily influenced. And that Earth needs to be protected by any means necessary. Interesting stuff. So he's basically an eco-fascist. I love it. <laughs> he's the real-life character. Have him be that. I, seriously, especially since he's a heel now. Yeah. Do you know if Tony is going to let talent go this year? Also, what reaction people had in the locker room when they heard about ROH closing down? No, Tony is committed to only letting contracts run out, barring extreme circumstances. The whole Swole situation, by the way, is hilarious. He told her they wouldn't be renewing, and she announced it on Twitter as if it was mutual. Yeah. I think Tony played along yeah. until the race car got brought up. Right. What exactly happened with Kylie? It's more or less what both sides say. Jericho has an open marriage and often tries to test the waters with girls he likes. Oh, God. The word is that the first, I think, pay-per-view after party, Jericho tried to get Kylie to come into a private room for a talk. I think Kylie had a boyfriend, but I imagine she felt a lot of pressure to accept. I don't know if anything happened or if it did, how far, but she had that mental breakdown soon after. I don't think Chris is a rapist, though. Also, keep in mind, Kylie's a bit of a head case. Yeah. But you gotta keep in mind, she had to fuck fucking 800 pound Chris <laughs> Jericho. But you wouldn't be able to get that fucking memory out of your head of that, that, like, that sweaty grandma just dripping sweat onto you as you gasp for life and like air. If, it's like if 
Bon Jovi and like Jabba the Hutt were fused together. Imagine trying to fuck that. Me, cha cha, we go. I am feeling so hungry inside. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> God, no wonder she's mentally scarred. No wonder she's a head case. No wonder she got help. fired from Impact Wrestling. <laughs> Again? Who's running Impact at the time? Don Callis was running Impact. You know, good friend with Chris Jericho. And that's exactly she what happened. She wasn't there long. Nope. I blink. For like a few months. Yep. Pretty crazy. So, it was asked, do you watch any of the wrestling that is on TV? And if so, which shows do you think are good and which are bad? One thing you should know is, for most wrestlers, the longer you're in the business, the less likely you are to watch wrestling, of yeah, course. <laughs> I watch when someone I like is going to do something cool, or when I hear someone I don't like was dog shit, lol. There's good and bad in everything. I will say that AEW has higher highs than lower lows. WWE is just dull, but the work on the male side is consistent. New Japan is good, but the interest in the West is ice cold, and I don't know how they'll recover. They never will. No, they're done. <laughs> Seriously. It's like AEW killed them off. Well, and if you notice from Wrestle Kingdom, barely any fanfare on the internet. Well, the, the nerds usually blow up early January when that shit comes out. Because there's AEW. Yep. There's AEW absorbing all those fans. Yep. Don't gotta care anymore. And not only that, but they don't have to stay up till 2 o'clock in the morning. Nope. No, and you can see all your favorite uh, NJPW guys in AEW soon. Absolutely. You're going to see more NJPW people in AEW. Oh, definitely. You will see Okada in AEW. Garen fucking Teed. Thoughts on your guy Jonah? I'm guessing... Wrestling... Bronson Otaka! Yeah. Oh! That guy. Nice dude in person, whiny cunt on the internet. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> so, it was asked... Is it true Tony Khan is a borderline alcoholic? I've heard of him showing up to places with a cooler full of White Claw before <laughs> LMFAO. Also, do you know anything about what's up with Ring of Honor? And he said, wouldn't surprise me. I know he's a huge cokehead and he loves White Claw. <laughs> <laughs> he's weird because he's awkward and jittery, but also very outgoing. <laughs> Won't you just pull down your pants outside you? You just show me what you got. <laughs> Did you put any coke in my white claw? <laughs> cut it! Cut it! Put it in! Put it in! What's Will Osprey like? Kind of weird. Possibly autistic. Doesn't pick up on social cues. Hell of a talent. <laughs> I Jesus. Be I believe it. That gummit, this is kind of fun. It is. Okay, what are some wrestler hookups people should be shocked to find out about? Kimberly and half of the CZW Chikara roster at once. <laughs> <laughs> Last thing you mentioned, a brief bit about AEW pay-per-view after parties. Can we get a few more fun stories? First thing I can think of is Chelsea Green giving Jack Perry a lap dance. Just general debauchery and questionable behavior from people in relationships. Wow. Is anyone on the AEW locker room universally hated? Not that I'm aware of, but I know a certain signing like, let's say, Ethan Page made a lot of people already there waiting for opportunities to go, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Not good, titties. <laughs> it was asked, how do female wrestlers feel about having such mentally unhinged fan bases? As long as they make money off of them, they don't care. Right. Exactly. Yep. Do wrestlers actually get tribal about what promotion they're on, or is that all just a show for us on Twitter to get people talking? Complete work unless they're a complete retard. You'd have to be an idiot to burn bridges, especially if you're in WWE where you can be fired tomorrow. And I think you're going to see more of this of wrestlers just spilling their guts on 4chan because it's anonymous. Exactly. This feels like a work. I've never seen anyone describe another person as autistic outside of a 4chan. You're using our dialect and pretending to be from somewhere else. Dude, I think he's actually autistic. <laughs> he's talking about the guy, okay? <laughs> this sounds like a bunch of bullshit... Des you, but pretty good LARP. I guess I'll indulge. What's the general opinion from actual wrestlers on the higher second-year college athletes that don't know their value direction WWE is taking? I'll say the general feeling of indie wrestlers is we couldn't believe we got away with as much as we did for as long as we did. Even if it was just NXT, seeing Gargano treated like a star in WWE product was insane. Anyone who isn't completely green knows WWE is just redirecting to what it was for decades before Hunter decided to make it his super indie. Got it. I'm glad some of my friends got to make money out of it while it lasted, but this was the direction the company had for way longer and guys my age had an understanding we'd probably never ever get signed uh-huh there you go at least he's but humble he's, about what, it and what he's doing but the problem with him is 
He's kind of outing himself. Oh, we know who it is. Like, he's really... Uh, so right now I can tell you he's a man in his 40s. He's a man in his 40s who has long been a part of NXT. Knows the backstage works of NXT. He even knows a lot of the people that were in the developmental center who went on to become stars on the main roster. Mm-hmm. He is very well familiar with them. He is now part of the AEW roster. Is regularly featured on TV. Yep. Has connections... With a lot of the upper management, especially on Cody's side, mm-hmm. it's possible to say this guy could eventually be a chairman in AEW. He could be. You know? He could be. Depends on how he works his way up the ladder. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not saying it's that guy, but Not shit. Not saying, but just, you know. Mm. Okay, so it was asked, starting to believe this guy is legit. Wrestling is a really small community and telling one story could easily out this guy's identity. I respect you. Do you know if the rumors of unrest about TV time and new signings being brought into AEW are true? If so, do you know what talent are upset? 90% of the talent you see that almost exclusively appear on Dark are frustrated and restless, Mm -hmm. and every new signing makes it worse for them. WWE people complain publicly way more for good reason. I hear Tony is a big loyalty guy, and it's way more likely that you'll be picked up by AEW as a disgruntled ex-WWE employee than picked up by WWE as a disgruntled ex-AEW one. I know one certain ex-WWE guy is very unfulfilled. He debuted in a big way, but fizzled out after working a long program with a certain heat killer. It was asked, how do you know about all this backstage power struggle in WWE and also about all those AEW guys? You can't be working for both. LOL, I have group chats with guys in almost every company because of who he knows. Right. Well, it's kind of like in the office when people talk. Right. Yeah, they they just, they talk. This online water cooler shit right here. Yeah. So it was asked, is Kenny Omega gay or is he fucking Sheeta slash Riho? He says, I heard he's bi, but I know he was in a relationship with Sheeta. Not sure if that's still true. I was asked, have you met Punk? Do you know if he's genuinely is trying to be a better person backstage in AEW or is he still a massive cunt to everyone backstage like he was in WWE? He said, I have not met Punk, but everyone I know who knew him in WWE days said he was an unbelievable cunt. AEW people say he's nice enough. Where are my AEW dildos and ice cream bars? Hey, as long as you give me what I want, I won't yeah. throw a fit, you where's fuckers. My, where's my AEW ice cream dildos? Hey, shove it up my ass. So he was asked, how hard is it to get a job at a local mud show production? Not hard at all. Not hard at all. Some of the feds I used to work for have yarders work for free. Pretty, <laughs> pretty sad. <laughs> yarders. Oh, Jesus Christ. Does Vince care about Austin Theory having <laughs> gay vids available? Having gay what now? I thought that was his trainer, A.R. Fox, who did that. Yeah, I've never heard of that. It, it, it could be true. I mean, you, hey, Lars Suckerman had how many fucking gay porn vids when he was signed to WWE d- on the main roster? Fair point. You know what? You got to dig this shit up, guys. You got to do more research. <laughs> it should be part of the background check, I swear. Uh, I was asked, thoughts on Ray Phoenix's injury or any other recent injuries in either company for that matter? Par for the course or preventable mishaps that are a result of the way they do business? Par for the course, he tried to fall with his arms out like a normal bump, but going through a table, you just got to take it all on your back. That being said, I don't know if two babyface teams not in a blood feud need to be doing hardcore spots. That's just me being a bitter old man. No, it's you being accurate. Right. It's also you exposing your identity, you idiot. <laughs> Seriously. <clears throat> I know. Is Jack <clears throat> Perry okay with Anna J fucking men behind his back? <laughs> Haven't heard of that. Well, yeah, because, I mean, she's way out of his league. Right. This person said, I can believe that. Paige was the first signing that was noticeably unremarkable. He's not bad, but he's terribly average, and I really don't understand why Tony jumped on him. He's, Agreed. I, I, uh. So basically, on this post here, they bleeped out the name, but he's talking about Sami Zayn. He says, so true, he's insanely finicky and will try to change spots seconds before his music hits. Yep. So fucking annoying, but also kind of endearing, LOL. I was told both him and Steen resigned. Yeah. You know, you know, everything has to be just right. Everything has to be right for the, for the music, the entrance, and the, and the, uh, the, the thing that I'm going to do, and everything has to be right. You know, the whole reason I didn't go over and form Mount Rushmore is because I'm getting paid millions and I have my own private blowjob, buddy. Would you resign? Would you go to Gay W if you didn't have your own private blowjob, buddy? I gotta push back on you, Kevin Oinkins. You'd have a whole new fucking team of blowjob buddies in AEW. Exactly. In Gay EW. Yes, he would have a train in Gay EW. It's like, you kind of missed out, dude. Mm-hmm. This so. one's good right here. Do wrestlers hate Triple H? Anyone Triple H passed up while he ran NXT hates him. Good. 
I know a lot of people with a good riddance attitude since it, it felt like he was booking more for smart marks than he was yes. for trying to run a successful developmental. Yeah. Fucking, fucking assholes cutting the fucking most brilliant wrestling promoter in the history of wrestling. So up next, he was asked, do you know what happened with Brian Cage? Dude has a hot streak going a year ago, even beat Paige clean on TV, and then just completely dropped off the face of the planet in the middle of a face turn feud. Did he do or say something to catch heat backstage? And this guy said, dude is just a fucking retard, no other way to put it. Even outside of the vac stuff, he is just an idiot and hard to work with. Not in a malicious way. It's like dealing with someone with special needs. Wow. Good lord. This guy's gonna get his ass beat. (laughs) Well, and they're going to know who it is. Of course. Like, they're going to put two and two together. And we're not even doing anything like exposing <clears throat> this guy. He put the shit on 4chan. All we're doing is showing you the shit he said on 4chan. And he already exposed that he's an old man. Yeah. So. That knows people in the AEW and WWE locker room. So, I'm leaving it at that. Okay. Up next, he was asked, does anyone in the business actually hate Daniel Bryan? Is anyone in the business pissed off or seething at Ric Flair and Tommy Dreamer about the dark side of the ring thing? And what do people think of the return of Rob Black and XBW? Where the fuck is David Starr? (laughs) He replies with, no, besides the Twitter activists who are desperate for likes. (laughs) Just a nostalgic cash in for a quick buck. He was a little cunt, hopefully somewhere mopping up piss and shit. (laughs) Wow. Damn. Who was the biggest whore at WWE? Dana Brooke. Wow. It's a hell of a claim right there. Especially with Kelly Kelly in the past, you know? (laughs) Yeah. And Trish Stratus and... Sable and Deborah, and <laughs> oh, so, so many of them. You'd be surprised how many of these girls were escorts. And it's like, like, who was not banging the whole locker room? Well, Karma? Not only that, but they bang people to get to the WWE locker room. Who didn't? I think that's the harder question. Especially in the 90s. Like, everybody, right. like maybe Molly Holly. I've heard that she was a saint, but even then, she probably sucked a couple dudes off. You know, I, Okay, I don't Nicole know. Bass, maybe. <laughs> But I don't know. No, 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 no. Bass actually did a porno with John Kronos. Uh, you know, remember the Eliminators? Yeah. In ECW? Yeah, John Kronos did a, some weird fucking BDSM porno with Let her. Let me in that pussy. Alleged pussy. <laughs> <laughs> You're not rushing, but I think you'll do for now. <laughs> oh, Jesus, God. So it was asked, what do you think of the Briscoes? Just curious because I live near them and I see them around. They seem like cool guys. Awesome promos and great wrestlers don't know them personally besides sharing some locker rooms. How's modern day backstage politicking like? What do wrestlers say or do to bookers or promoters to gain favor? Blowjobs. Still happens all the time. It's like any other workplace. If you can't get to the boss, butter up the boss's favorites. Make them look great. Ask them to watch your matches. Give you advice. And then take and apply that advice so they feel invested in your success. Mm -hmm. Typical shit. In AEW, there's a bit of a party culture that probably helps if you drink and party with Tony. Vince doesn't hang around the boys, of course. TNA is a little weird because most people would rather be making AEW money, lol. We still Mm -hmm. call it TNA, by the way. Any news on why Nick Gage has disappeared from GCW recently? Don't tell me he relapsed. He did, and it's because of that fucking idiot Lauderdale paying his talent with drugs. Surprise he hasn't got canceled or whatever. The little freak dated a 16-year-old. Whoa. Damn. Those are heavy allegations right there. Yeah. He was asked, what wrestlers were cool to work with? Doesn't even have to be anyone you had a match with, just people that were chill in the locker room. Rocky Romero is awesome. The Good Brothers before their WWE run made them bitter as hell. Stand out as being fun to hang with. Jushin Liger makes every locker room more entertaining. Chucky and Trent were always cool as hell with me. This guy's an actual wrestler. Oh, yeah. No, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know if Asuka's coming back? Also, how is Becky Lynch backstage? No clue. Heard it was a shoulder thing. Becky I hear is nice, but man, her shtick on TV is hard to watch. Exactly. Yeah. Did Jeff Hardy relapse? The funny thing about Jeff is being dazed and aimlessly wandering is his natural state of being, so no one knew anything was wrong with him before that match. As of right now, we don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if he just wanted out. Yeah. It was asked, thoughts on Gigi and what are the guys in the locker room saying about her ass? <laughs> <laughs> that thing can't be real, right? For a skinny white girl? Darby was lucky to hit that, and Joey, and a few others. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah. You mentioned in the other thread that Tay Conti and Sammy Guevara hooked up at an AW after party. Was it before or after he split with his fiance? Probably before, if I had to guess. Damn. How many times have you been raped by a gay black man? Jeez. Only one and a half. What the fuck? 
Was there a lot of tension between developmental guys in the main roster when it came to cameo Twitch rules? I can't imagine guys were very happy about losing free money. Yeah, man, it was a big drama. I heard Creed and AJ even went to Connecticut to talk to Vince about it. I guess the downsides are just too good, though. The women were making a fuck ton on Cameo. Can't imagine they were happy. Do you know who WWE is trying to sell itself to? I heard NBC or Disney since Fox fell through. Exactly. Yep. How do wrestlers that have been around a while feel about the current climate, popularity, fans, or tarps, etc. in wrestling today? Is it disheartening seeing WWE with so many empty seats? Do you guys feel like wrestling can come back to how it was 20 years ago or not? How do you feel about the future of it with AEW now in the mix? Do you see a third brand happening or any general thoughts? I'll tell you this, a lot of guys working in WWE are depressed because it isn't what they dreamed it would be as kids. It's just not fun to work there. The money is amazing, though. If anyone is doing this for the fame, they're in the wrong business. There are TikTokers or whatever 10 times more famous than us. So true. Yep. What do you know about the Paige sex tape scandal that isn't already out in the public? Who else did she fuck? <laughs> Only that Maddox completely disappeared and ghosted everyone he knew in the business afterwards. It was him that leaked it, right? Exactly. Right. Wrestlers love to gossip. It's literally like high school. 100%. We're all narcissistic, gossipy bitches. Mm -hmm. Generico is not a bad guy, just a headache to call a match with. Example? Like I said, changing what we called every five minutes, right down to our entrance music playing. Being very controlling over the story of the match. Very neurotic. Very Jewish for an Arab fella. (laughs) If this is a troll, it's a very good troll. Nah, he's doing a very good job of trolling. you got to give him credit. If it's a troll, I think it's real, though. Yeah. Vince doesn't hang around the boys, of course. He used to. Maybe that says a lot. He's fucking old, man. I've been told you can barely hear him anymore. Like, people have to lean in to hear what he's saying. Yep. Know anything about what happened with Sammy and Impact when he got sent home from that taping? Always seemed there was more to that. Sammy's kind of an immature little shit. I guess he was supposed to work a program with someone over there, maybe Chris Bay. Something in the X Division, and he felt it was beneath him, which, word is it hurt his and Jericho's relationship, and that's why you don't see them as much together anymore. You ever spoke to CM Punk? Cool guy or a prick? Never met him. But a buddy of mine told a story of meeting him in the Indies. He was going around shaking everyone's hand, as a customary, people introducing themselves with their real names. Gets to Punk, who's sitting in a chair. Dude looks up without raising a hand and goes, Punk. Before looking back down, my buddy was like, cool, man. That was his live journal days. I think he was just an edgy shit. Well, now he's half a man. He used to be. (laughs) Seriously. You ever go out of your way to hurt someone in the ring for an attitude problem or maybe a fuck up during the match? Not hurt, but I'd stiff them. So in other words, hurt them. Yeah. Right. (laughs) Deliberately injuring someone is just a piece of shit thing to do no matter how bad they are. Being the fuck out of them, though, is cool, though. Sorry for being vague, but you can find me doing this kind of shit to certain people. Uh, we've seen you do it a couple mm-hmm. times in NXT and now in AEW, actually. Yep. I'm curious about how the AEW guys react to places like Reddit and Twitter acting like an actual cult for them. Do they think it's hilarious or do they let it go to their heads? I imagine they get nice laughs out of the marks, smart marks, especially since that always seems to be funny to wrestlers. In group settings, we will laugh it up and share marked tweets, DMs, etc. in private, though. I think it gets to their heads, especially when they're not being pushed and marks are saying they deserve better. We make fun of the bigger internet wrestling personalities, too. Ask about some and I'll tell you if I know anything. Oh, shit. I get the feeling he wants to be an auteur like Danielson or Kenny, but he isn't there. Auteur. He is really talented, though. Just overthinks everything. To Danielson, it just comes and goes easy, like it's second nature. He's the sophisticated autistic man. <laughs> you know, he's like the rain man of wrestling. You really gotta look at it. Look at how he cuts promos. Yeah, I'm an auteur guy. <laughs> So it was asked, any stories about wrestling with guys you looked up to as a little Jimmy? Have you crossed paths with the Hulkster or Flair? I got to work with one of my favorite wrestlers from the 80s a long time ago. He refused to take a single bump or call a single shot, lol. At the time I was mad, but now I get it. Match was the shits though. Seen and interacted with Flair at conventions and signings. He radiates energy and charisma. When he starts to slur his words though, it's a bit sad. Yeah. (laughs) He was also asked, a few days ago, there were some guys posting in-depth stories about Chikara. Do you know any of these guys? Is it true it's coming back this year? Who gives a shit? Right. I'm happy the Smash Bros, OC, and Chucky are getting a paycheck every week, among others. I wouldn't be shocked if Quack tried to make some money with a revival, but a lot of their fan base was sensitive online types. 
and he lost all of that goodwill. Most of the Chikara guys have been left in the dust, and it's sad. But did you know Jervis was the fucking admin of the Reddit wrestling forum? Wow. Of the wrestling Reddit forum. Damn. Wow. Damn, did not know that about Jervis Cottonbelly. No. Real or LARP, this has been the best PW thread in a while. Thank you. Who are some obnoxious old-timers that you've met? He's not old, but man, RVD is one bitter fuck. <laughs> I never met a stoner less chill. Honky Tonk is horrible, but entertaining as fuck. Tony Atlas, beyond the foot fetish stuff, is kind of a dick. Older guys who are really cool and helpful, though. Jimmy Hart, super crazy. Jerry Lynn, Steve Carino. I was in a plane coming back from Toledo, Ohio, and we had Honky Tonk Man sitting behind us. And he was asking us uh, where we were landing, and we told him where we were landing. I'm not going to say what city. Mm. He's like, uh, uh, you think you can hook up some coke? <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, ah, nah, sorry, man. We're more weed people. And he's <laughs> like, I get it. I get it. Yeah, he's trying to feel good. Trying to take the edge off of life. Yeah. By putting on more edge. <laughs> So it was asked, does Malachi design his own merch himself? Why is it so shit? <laughs> because he's an edgy emo kid. Love it. Who is Mandy Rose fucking slash dating? She used to be with that Tino guy from NXT. I'm not totally unconvinced she isn't lesing out right now. Could be. I mean, when you look at what she's got on that team. I she's mean... probably got Gigi Dolan's ass cheeks right up in her face. I wouldn't be surprised. That's a good... Thought to have. It's a good visual. I want to believe that Mandy Rose and Gigi Dolan are fucking. Oh, that'd be hot. You know what? Just throw in JC. Why not? Yeah. Should be the referee. <laughs> it is. <laughs> so it was asked, a wrestler you haven't wrestled and would like to have a match with, and any genuinely nice and cool wrestlers in backstage that you know or have heard about. He says singles with Danielson. Mickey James was a sweetheart and rubbed my leg while we were sitting down. It was a good material for the hotel room that night. Serena Deeb is an awesome person and great worker. Most people nowadays are cool. Man, it's hard to name anyone especially nice. I will say that Cody tries almost too hard to be nice. Like, it almost seems to be like there's an ulterior motive. I don't mean to be a douche, but he's a little bit odd. Yeah, we know. <laughs> are TK and the other big names getting concerned that their ratings aren't improving even in the most hyped up period? I don't think so. Nielsen ratings are so finicky and the houses are doing well. Right. So as long as those houses are doing well, I think Tony would be like, well, that's all the justification we need to keep going. Exactly. So, uh, I mean, he'll keep going until... There's no market for it, yeah. Or he just gets like, he's like, fuck it, I'm tired of the bullshit. Well, I think that's really what's going to disillusion him, though, is when he's watching backstage and he sees the empty arenas. But even then, let's say that there's like another lockdown and you can't have those arenas anymore. Oh, he'll go back to Daly's place. Yeah, no, no, he'll go back to Daly's place, but like, let's say he's not even allowed to have people in the Daly's place. He'll just make excuses saying, well, you know, TBS is still happy with our rating. He'll find any little excuse to keep going until he's just genuinely not happy running it. And then I think he shuts it down. I, I think, think that's when he shuts it down. That's not going to be for a while. <laughs> yeah. So he was asked, do you know Sidwick? He creates fan fiction from matches out of nothing. Sure, the boys backstage must laugh at him. What do AEW wrestlers think of the nerdy fan base that brings video game and anime signs to shows? He says, LOL, yes, the what culture guy. His shit is gold. We like to joke about how every little spot in an AEW match is actually a multi-layer 4D storytelling <laughs> masterpiece. <laughs> we make fun of the bigger internet wrestling personalities. Ask about some and I'll tell you if I know anything. Bix. I know wrestler pretends to be his friend so he can say positive shits about them online, but I want to know what's the most honest-to-God opinion about him. He said, I was told by a worker at that show, I don't know if I was at Progress or Evolve or something, that multiple people in the crowd said the putrid shit smell was gone after Bixen Span left the venue. You can thank Lauderdale for enabling that freak. <laughs> Besides shitting his pants and trying to cancel my friends, I don't know anything else about him. <laughs> <laughs> TNT Warner was only expecting Dynamite to get somewhere in the ballpark of 300 to 500k a week, and they had boners for AEW ever since. He said, I believe that. Yeah. How do people in AEW slash WWE feel about Hook? A good, talented kid not being helped by his head case, self-marked father, and AEW fans treating him like a god after his first match. Yep. Exactly. Yep. Is Meltzer really on the payroll, or is he just a mark for AEW? He is paid in information, and that information is repaid with positive coverage. 
Tailless all this time is the dirt sheets. Only problem is now he lacks sources in almost every other company. Mm-hmm. Has Becky ever cheated on Seth? Has there ever been any cheating scandals in AEW or WWE? He said, I've heard less than savory things about writer's girl. As far as out of business relationship drama, some guys and girls cheat all the time. Wrestlers are scumbags. Oh, God. I completely believe it. What do you guys think of SRS, Denise Salicato, and the Smarks journalists of Fightful and One? Marks to be taken advantage of. Give a scoop. Get positive coverage. WWE has been trying to bankroll some of these guys, though. Mm-hmm. It was asked, are you a draw, brother? Fuck no. <laughs> he realizes Fuck. it. He knows what's up. Do jobbers get depressed? Hell, guys who win every week are depressed. Wrestlers are so egotistical and for the most part ambitious. They're always going to want what they don't have yet. Of course, a pay bump shuts you up for a while or the occasional little push slash title win. Who's the biggest self-mark amongst the younger guys currently? I hear the four pillars shit is getting to the kid's head a bit. Jack is a sweetheart though. Sammy, I could see it. Darby, you never know when he's trying to work the gimmick or if he's just being weird. Same with Max. On the WWE side, the wrestler is so fucking old I can't even think of an example. I hear Ray's kid is super nice and respectful. Throw out a name and I'll see if I can find out. Okay, the real question. Do male wrestlers watch and talk about female wrestlers with big asses like going to train and watching them asses work out? Of course. I know male wrestlers who invite hot chicks to roll around in the ring before the show, getting all sweaty and rubbing on each other and shit. Is wrestling's growth possible anymore, or will the viewership continue to dwindle? Nilsson's system is antiquated. You want to know how interest really is? Look at the houses. I know he's a huge cokehead and he loves White Claw. Either Tony is insanely based or we're getting worked. Unclear. (laughs) He's kind of like if the wrestling nerd at high school decided to throw parties at his parents' mansion and supply all the booze people wanted. Like, you could chill in the hot tub sipping on drinks but have to listen to his booking ideas for year-long (laughs) storylines. Do you know if Kevin Nash knows about the KWAB stuff? And if you do, what does he think about it? Also, how is Conrad on every wrestling podcast? I hate that Chud and Bixen shits in pants too. He's fucking annoying, chiming and interrupting with his fat fuck voice when I just want to listen to J.R. or Bischoff or whoever tell stories. Mm-hmm. What's the consensus of Danhausen? Below average wrestler, excellent gimmick. Anyone who makes money and gets over without having to take a bump is a great worker in my book. Damn straight. Mm-hmm. Any true to a rumor... Of a self-proclaimed insider claimed a couple of months ago, he claimed that WWE is going to slowly phase out all their Japanese wrestlers through releases and not renewing contracts because they're trying to get a deal with China like they did with the Saudis. If this were true, they wouldn't fire them, just not bring them to the shows like Generico with Saudi. I think they fired Japs just because Vince hates them, lol. (laughs) How does MJF feel about being cucked by Ali Catch after he proposed to her at a show? I doubt he's mad considering how much she ballooned and got addicted to whatever GCW is paying their talent right now. What are your thoughts on John Moxley and when is he coming back? I never thought he was particularly good in the ring, but he has a raw magnetism and charisma that is undeniable. I don't know when he will be back, but I hope he's healthier for his family's sake. Who is the best wrestler you've ever seen work and why? As a wrestler, Danielson Christian Styles. This shit's just so fucking easy to them. It's second nature. They can call a bunch of shit before the match, but they also don't have to. They can also have captivating matches either way. No wasted motions can make anyone or any body type or style look great. Love watching them. As a fan, I loved Warrior, Sid, Shamrock, Austin. Didn't really care about work rate as a fan so much as intensity. I mean, he's exposing who the fuck he is. No, we definitely know who it is. And hopefully you know who it is by now. That he worked with Danielson, Christian, and Styles. Well, gee, what do all those wrestlers have in common? Two companies in common. Ring of Honor, TNA. Also, you got to look at old school WWE, FCW. A lot of the talent that we now know nowadays competed in FCW. Mm Mm-hmm. And this one, too. Yes, you did. Where the fuck is Chris Hero? (laughs) Great question, man. That kind of wealth of knowledge is invaluable. I heard Triple H just couldn't get over how fat he looked. (laughs) (laughs) He's so fucking fat. Look at how fat he is. Look at this fat piece of shit and stuff. Look at how fat he is. His tits hang below his knees. God damn, that's a big fat ass. (laughs) He said, which is funny because he had such a boner for Walter. I'm assuming Tony may feel the same way. It's because Cassius Sonos is a big, fat computer programmer nerd. Well, Like, Walter at least kind of looks like a tough, fat gay dude. Right. You know, he looks like he could slap around people in the bathhouse. I mean, yeah, he may be a skinny, fat, 
flabby dark butt. He's kind of tough. I mean, you look at him with the blank tights and the chops and uh, the crew cut. He's got some toughness to him. But this fat ass Yasuno guy, he's got tits that hang down past his knees. A fat dump truck ass. And he hasn't seen his dick in over 10 years. That's her answer. That's where he's. <laughs> So, hey, we broke it on TWR News. What's he doing right now? He's doing bedside podcasting. Yes. Where he gives online grocery shopping reviews. Slash love advice. <laughs> I ordered from Instacart the other day. My delivery driver was pretty close to my size. I said, do you have reinforced hydraulics on your car? She said, yes. I think we might have had a love connection. That, that fat fuck needs a crane to get fucking by. <laughs> I think he just has the bed on a train track, and he just goes, and it goes like through the bedroom door all the way to the front door, so he can literally grab the groceries from the front door, and then go back to the bedroom with the groceries. Yeah, the, the one chick he was dating that one time went to the dollar store and got that like little dollar claw grabber thing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's his extendo wand. <laughs> God, man, it's... <laughs> do you blame Triple H for making fun of him? I mean, he knew we were going to be at a live show, so he purposely booked him in the first match. That's a good point. Because think about it. Every time that they would come to where we live, mm -hmm. we'd see Fat-Ass Yasano. Yep. Like clockwork. Like clockwork. And Triple H knew. Oh, of course. He was like, all right. Send him out. I want to hear the hey, fun of him. Hey, Jeremy Brush, give me my bucket of popcorn. Uh, I want to see this shit. Who's getting released next? I only know about Joe because of a friend. I don't know how they can release more people. I heard they struggled to gather enough people for the last 24-7 title chase that they tried. You can only make so many cuts. Mm -hmm. Which wrestlers backstage are the least like their characters on TV and that the average fan would be surprised about? Probably MJF when he isn't living the gimmick. Sting is an obvious answer too. Who's the stiffest worker? Cedric Alexander. Really. Do you think Sonya Deville and Mandy Rose were lesbian lovers, or do you know something? He said, I have my suspicions. <laughs> Is Brett Lauderdale really a pedophile? Jesus. Yes. Any truth to the rumor that Cardona, Chelsea, Cody, and Brandy all fucking Cardona is actually the father of Cody's son? <laughs> and he said, do you think Mid Cardona is black? How many wrestlers browse 4chan and how many browse the wrestling board? Zero. I find that hard to believe because I've heard some rumors about people coming on 4chan as wrestlers, like, in outing themselves. Like, I think what he's trying to say is that not many. Yeah, it's Like, in the grand scheme of things, it's like... Yeah, they don't care. Who's the biggest slut on the roster? Shane McMahon. Hey! Wow. Why haven't Dakota and Shayna admitted that they're a couple yet? <laughs> they were told to keep quiet as Sonya is the big gay star. Did WWE drop the ball with Big E's title reign, or was it particularly E's fault for not dropping the goofball gimmick? Vince didn't want Big E as the champ, but he didn't want Woods to look like a bigger deal than him winning the crown. Is there anything specific you would like fans to know that people can't say publicly? Who is your favorite Joshi? Steph raped Macho Man? Ooh, Steph of a sweet virgin flower! <laughs> what really is the Kylie Ray incident? Who is the most disliked male wrestler in the AEW locker room? Most disliked female wrestler. Were Impact wrestlers pissed that they made to look like Jobber in the AEW crossover? Nothing happened. People online invented a story and the dirt sheets ran with it. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yep. Is Brett Lauderdale really a pedophile? Do you consider dating a 16-year-old at his age to be pedophilia? Either way, he's a low less scumbag. Yeah. Any truth to the rumor that Matt Cardona, Chelsea, Cody, and Brandy all fuck and Cardona is actually the father? Uh, LOL, no, but I hear Chelsea gets around. Just saw that Janela angle they're doing to spoof Macho Flair. Matt is a weird dude. Yeah. What's the backstage at AEW like? Is it really as friendly as they make it seem or is there politicking and clicks? Do wrestlers really think Tony Khan is a great boss or just a money mark? The politics mostly revolve around getting the EVPs to like you. God help you if Cody makes you one of his pet projects. <laughs> if you're young and lucky, Tony will deem you one of the future prospects. The whole Four Pillars thing was his idea, and the most wrestlers think it was a dumb decision to place so much importance on young, unpredictable talent. Fair point? Yeah. Who's the nicest girl on the main roster of WWE? Nikki Cross believe is it. a sweetheart. I believe it. What do other wrestlers think about Brandy Rhodes? What do they think about Cody curing racism with his first interracial <laughs> baby in history? Talentless nepotism figure in AEW, great body though. Every fed has a woman who thinks she's more important and talented than she really is. I agree. I know Walter is fat, but Hero looks like shit. 
At least Walter has height going for him, but Hero has a nasty gut. Hero is quite tall. It doesn't look like it on TV. Not really. He's, he's just so fat, it just negates the height. See, okay, this guy is not above six feet if he thinks that Chris Hero is a tall guy. Right. What was the wrestler's reaction to Marco's GCW dildo match? Effie's a fucking weirdo. Not very good at wrestling and has way more power than he should have. I feel sorry for the kid. Mm -hmm. Why haven't Dakota and Shannon admitted they're they're a couple yet? Female wrestlers lose a huge amount of revenue when they admit they're in relationships. As long as there is an ounce of doubt, they make money. In the previous thread, you said that Dana Brooke is the biggest whore. Can you elaborate? All I know is she sucked off one of the writers for a while. (laughs) Is there anything specific you would like fans to know that people can't say publicly? Who is your favorite Joshi? Sure, most of the social justice shit you see on Twitter is a total work. In private, almost all wrestlers are crass, offensive, shit on women, etc. But many of them are narcissistic social climbers who would mutilate themselves for online. Pretty much. It's all a fucking work, yeah. Um, I believe it. Thoughts on Eddie Kingston and the possibility of them doing another death match on AEW. Awesome promo, great intensity, pretty sloppy in the ring, but if he got in better shape, that would help. I forgot to answer that question about Heat. Keith Lee and Eddie are going to have words if he gets signed. Something else people may not know is Deanna was blacklisted from AEW after she cheated on Marty. I don't know if that's the case still after he became persona non grata. Probably not the case anymore. I know, I don't think it is. If if the basis of her Heat with them was that, yeah. She's probably good to go. Seriously. Why do you think wrestling has become unpopular amongst the mainstream? I just think there's too much content out there. Besides obvious shit like sports and Marvel, what's unanimously unexperienced? Everything is niche now or fad for the week or two. Like Tiger King or whatever, then people move on. Well, Okay, but add on to it. Yeah, there's too much content out there. Too much wrestling content. And it's all the same. Well, notice how he's not really directly shitting on wrestling matches. No, he's not. This is an old school wrestling mark. Yes. Like an, a Ring of Honor, TNA, old school wrestling mark. He was asked, what do boys really think about trans women competing in the women's division? Are there a lot who hate it and can't say, or does the majority truly not care? Those who are used to intergender shit, most indie guys don't care. Some even joke that trans women are often the only good female wrestlers, <laughs> LOL. A lot of wrestlers don't care about them wrestling, but rather feel uncomfortable with transsexuality in general. Sometimes they do look pretty gross, but most wrestling fans do. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! So he was asked, Have you interacted with the lead bookers of the former big indie promotions, Super Dragon, PWG, Quackenbush, Chikara, Sapolsky, Ian Rotten, etc.? Any thoughts on these folks and how different their reputation is among the boys? Yes, Super Dragon is a socially stunted little weirdo. SoCal (laughs) wrestling scene is so fascinating. No clue how PWG became the indie for the 2010s. Many high-profile wrestlers would work for little money just to work a bola. Quack was Heyman for comic book nerds. If you weren't enthralled by his grandiose speeches, he just seemed like an autistic alpha trying to carry other nerds out of their money. Gabe is a slimy cretin, but he has a good eye for talent. Obsessed with work rate. The fact that he even had a job in WWE shows how Indy Triple H was willing to make the product. Not willing, he did. Biggest slut in AEW, male and female. I know Tanera fucked a lot of guys in NXT while she was married before her release. Damn. Shit. Not terribly interested in Keith, but what's the issue between them? From what Eddie said himself, he was not always the easiest guy to get along with and seems to regret how he handled his shit in the past. And Keith, at least at a cursory glance, seems like a guy who would be relatively easy to deal with. But then again, who knows with all that weirdness leading up to his release. Eddie and Mia's relationship was very tumultuous. Oof. There it is. In other words, uh... Yep. Can you tell us what you know of Kylie and AEW? I went into it earlier, but basically something happened with Jericho. I don't think it was rape, but whatever it was, she regretted it bad, and it pushed her over the edge. In other words, she fucked the fat grandma man! Mm -hmm. Anybody would regret that. Anybody would hate themselves after that. They'd be like, why the fuck did I just do that? (laughs) It probably changed her gay. I bet you she went gay after that. Maybe. Maybe because she did a lot of women's stuff with Impact. Maybe she fucked Rosemary. I don't know. I'm just saying. Mm, Yep. Just saying. Who knows? Maybe. Okay, so basically what this fan said is he said, The alarming thing is is that the LARP is still going on. It's sadly better than 
140 Fed Sucks, No AW Sucks threads, and 10 Waifu threads. What's going on is for every actual question about the business, there's 10 questions about who people are dating, fucking, fighting, friends with, etc. Like you people sound like a bunch of teenage girls on Twitter. And he replied with, LOL, that's what a lot of wrestlers talk about. If you want a general perception of something in the industry, I can give you that too. Going back to Kylie, do people ever respect her at this point? She's a mess. She's a head case. I think she and Leo tie for the most times retired for people who have been working under 10 years. <laughs> which weapon gimmick hurts the most and which one is the most deceptively safe? Chairs fucking suck. And WWE banning headshots has made a lot of feds follow the leader, which really fucking sucks because I'd rather put my hands up for a headshot than take a shitty shot in the back where it hits your elbows. Tables are easy outside of freak accidents. Keck, more details about Jericho. Really thought it was a troll post since she is obviously a, a Menhara. He said, I mean, she is a bit of a psycho. Both can be true. Chris is a massive horn dog. You know who he fucked Kelly Kelly? Well, who didn't? Right. How much heat did Big Swole have backstage before she was fired? A little heat because of that whiny tweet bitching about Jay, but mostly pity. She just isn't that good. That Tony tweet was retarded, though, lol. He must have been on something. WWE wrestlers always hate being posted about on social media after firings because the marks go nuts in the comments. No clue why so many AEW workers rush to his defense. Maybe to gain favor? Tony rewards loyalty. Yep. Do wrestlers really respect Tony Khan? I don't think so. But I also think that wrestlers didn't respect Vince when he bought out his dad's company and signed up all the territory stars. They are very similar in some respects. Glad I think Tony knows that and looks up to Vince in a weird way. Time will tell if Tony nuts up. You can already see that he doesn't do everything Jericho and Cody tell him to do like he did in their first year. I respect that. Vince was a nerd who wanted to be one of the boys too. It's why he was so jacked to the gills. I don't know. <sighs> You kind of have to be. It's a tough one, though. Well, yeah. it, he's an alpha nerd. I mean, if you're really into pro wrestling to the point that you go and start up your own pro wrestling company, you're a fucking nerd. He could still be a nerd, but an alpha nerd. Okay. Best way I can put it. Okay. How much of the locker room could be average ran shoot him? And how much of them could an average physically fit grown man take? <laughs> He said, depends on the company. NXT in 2016, maybe half. AEW right now, about half. <laughs> Main roster, WWE, about the third. Oh, my God. <laughs> Damn. He was asked, who's the biggest self-mark in between Cody and Jericho? Cody, for sure. Jericho's a diva and an alcoholic, but he has no problem putting people over. Notice how whenever Cody puts someone over, he makes sure that the story's about him. Mm -hmm. Like when he lost to Tommy, but left his boots in the ring, so all the people talked about was whether or not he'd be retiring. Knowing Cody, watching that reality show of his is a surreal experience. Mm -hmm. Top five best feet on any rosters. Ew. What the fuck? I'm sorry to tell you this, but women's wrestlers' feet are mostly fucked up from wrestling. Right. How easy is it to get a job in one of the big companies? 2016 to the pandemic is a fucking breeze. Worked Bola, you were getting signed. ROH TNA wanted you, you were getting signed. The mass WWE firings were a natural consequence of hoarding indie talent who were never going to succeed on the main roster. Mm -hmm. There is a misconception that Vince has a big guy fetish. That is half true. He believes that a big muscular guy who can work to a degree with charisma is the ticket to millions of dollars. Look how many roid heads he tried and threw away. But losing Danielson hurt him bad because at the end of the day, he knows what a good wrestler is. He just doesn't think that they're necessarily profitable. It's just a difference of business opinion. And he was shown the Shawn Michaels edition of Playgirl and was asked, is it a fag magazine? And he it's said, a magazine for women. <laughs> well, he replied with, it was a girly magazine Read exclusively by fags, so in a way, yes. <laughs> the rumored heat between the Elite and Cody, is it because of Brandy and Kenny butting heads over the women's division or something else? It's because Cody's stuff is almost always widely considered to be the worst, most self-indulgent thing on the show. Plus, allowing his talentless wife to have any power whatsoever is the detriment of the company. She's a fucking bikini model. Early AEW had a lot of internal conflict regarding allocation of time. Tony pulled the reins eventually and decided to take the heat regarding those decisions. Respect for that. My theory is Cody really wants to be AEW's John Cena. He has a lot of resentment for never getting a top babyface push in WWE, especially towards Hunter, who told him something like, the best actor isn't always the main character or some shit. Mm -hmm. Best and worst Mexican worker. 
Andrade is so fucking good. No clue why he's with Charlotte. My personal favorite to work with was super crazy. Worst is someone no one knows. There's so many garbage lucha guys stateside. He was asked, any thoughts on Nick Aldis turning down AEW to work with Billy Corgan? Don't imagine he fit well over there anyways. Would you rather be a top guy for less money or just another guy for more? He'd end up like Jay Lethal. Mm-hmm. What are your plans after retiring? Probably open or work at a school. He's already working at one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is Cena an asshole with everyone? Have you worked with any midget wrestlers? No, he's just robotic. He's only an asshole to guys who could realistically take his spot. There's a reason he liked putting over Punk and Danielson. What's the source of heat between Bailey and Cody? Does it go far back? Cody resented a lot of dusty era NXT talent for treating Dream like their dad and seeing more of him than Cody ever did. He resents Steen and Generico for the same reason. That's just my armchair psychologist speaking. What the fuck is going on with Jay Lethal? LOL, your guess is good as mine. I assume Tony wanted the top ROH talent, but had no real plans for them. I think the Briscoes will do well, though. Jay is just kind of a guy. My personal opinion with that is I think he's burying him on dark for now because he sees what happens anytime he puts these guys on TV. Everything that happened with them in the past comes to light. Yep. And that's why he's putting Jay on dark right now. So all the controversy dies down. And when people bring up Taylor Hendricks, he'll be like, didn't we already talk about this? Mm hmm. We can see where this is going. That's a good point you bring up. Because, yeah, there's a lot of those Ring of Honor talents that have uh, skeletons in their closet. Mm hmm. So, well, maybe not sign all of them. That's probably why he's so uh, reserved with signing Ring of Honor talents. Oh, I got one. Does anyone think it's inappropriate that Tay Conti to be shaking her ass in front of a shirtless nine year old? He said, I personally do, and some others have said so in private, but nothing outwardly expressed to anyone involved. Imagine if the genders were reversed, lol. Ew. Seriously. What's your opinion on hardcore legend Jimmy Havoc? Good dude on too much shit, fucked up his mind. Gage is the same, and the scene around him encourages that behavior. I like that thumbnail thing. <laughs> Well, Brett did several interviews in the past where she credited Omega for Rise as a performer and said that he's a big supporter of her. Kenny also went out of his way to praise her continuously and both said that he came up with the idea for a heel turn. So what you said isn't true. He replied with, Tony wanted to make Brit a star and the heel turn was necessary since she was flopping hard as a face. If you think Kenny would rather have Brit on TV every week instead of Riho or Sheeta because of some interviews, you're incredibly naive. Any wrestlers pissed off at CM Punk for going to UFC and exposing himself as a guy who can't fight at all? Not so much pissed as we were amused. Phil loved to talk shit and we always knew he couldn't back it up. Watched that pay-per-view in a room full of workers and had a great time. <laughs> You think Tony would have the balls to bring in Triple H despite his history with a lot of the AEW roster? If Tony had two brain cells, and I believe he does, he would make a play for Triple H. That would be AEW's NWO moment. I truly believe it would radically change the business. It doesn't matter what heat he may have with him. It would be game-changing for professional wrestling. I agree. And then not only that, but like all the people would bring back. Like, holy shit, Triple H is an AEW. He's no longer with WWE. Yeah, it would catch a lot of people off guard. Kicks and punches are good wrestling. Get the fuck out of here, you LARPing faggot. No self-respecting wrestler would ever call that shit or good. Any poster ITT can learn how to wrestle like Brian in less than a month. He's the great Kali level wrestler. He replies with, ironically enough, he's great at kicking and punching too. (laughs) (laughs) Is there anyone who is very talented out there, but too much of a pushover to stand up for themselves to be treated slash book better and is walked all over? I'm a huge Cesaro fan, but you can kind of tell that he's just coasting by at this point he's gonna get cut claudio for sure but he's a rich man dolph i know is out of love with wrestling and threatens to quit every time his contract is up but they go up another digit and his downside and he settles down shin is coasting big time all right that has been the tumultuous end to this three page four channel board thing there might be more posts but i think in just these three pages we've given you a good rundown of Jeez. The craziness that is going on in modern day wrestling. And it doesn't really differ too much from the stories that we've told you about what happened in the 80s and 90s. No, not really. It's hidden now. It's just more hidden. I believe that they're doing a good job of really telling the wrestlers, you got to shut the fuck up about this shit. Mm. Pretty crazy stuff. And like we said before, it's up to your speculation of whether it's real or not. Or if this guy truly does work for AEW or even WWE for that matter. Might even work for a lower company like Impact Wrestling. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, but whoever it is, he knows people backstage. And all throughout this, there are people saying, oh, you're just a LARPing faggot. You're just making this it's shit like, up. Don't you what? think it's a little bit detailed? And why would he go through all this effort? Like, that's the one thing I would raise to anybody about this. Who would go through the effort of this shit? Well, for a troll to be this detailed. And to break the news about Samoa Joe before Sean Ross app. That is the key right there. That is really fucking big. And the person who we're thinking of knew Samoa Joe very, very well. Yep. <laughs> so, <laughs> food for thought, guys. So, this has been an exclusive NC. JC. Peace out.